Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise. And this is the continuation video of Cost of Capital. You can find the playlist link in the description box to get the full video collections. Now, in this video, we are going to see cost of equity under CAPM method, that is a capital asset pricing model. Okay, now let's see the problem. See the problem. The following are the details of ABC Limited. First one, risk free return 10%. Second one, expected market return 15%. Third one, beta coefficient of the company 1.5. So these are the three informations they have given with this. Uh, what would be the cost of equity if the coefficient of beta raised to 2? Okay, the present beta value is 1.5. Okay, they are asking you to find out the present cost of equity as well as uh, if the beta value is raised to 2, what will be the cost of equity? And the second case is, uh, if the beta value falls to 1, from 1 1.5 to 1, what will be the cost of equity? Okay, so first we need to find out the cost of equity for the present scenario. And then we have to find out with the two different changes. Okay, now let's see the solution. See the solution. This is the formula to find out the cost of equity according to CAPM model. Okay. So, KE refers to cost of equity is equal to RF plus beta into RM minus RF. So, RF refers to risk-free return. Beta means uh, the beta factor that is uh, the measure of non-diversifiable risk. This factor will be given in the problem. Okay. And the next one, RM. RM refers to market return. Again, RF risk-free return. Okay. So, this is the formula to find out the cost of equity. So, according to our problem, they have given all the values. RF is equal to 10 percentage, RM 15 percentage, beta value 1.5. Okay. Now, substitute these values in the formula to find out the cost of equity. Okay. Cost of equity is equal to RF 10 percentage. No. So, 10 percentage plus beta, beta value 1.5 into RM, RM 15 percentage minus RF 10 percentage. So, 10 percentage plus 15 minus 10, 5, 5 into 1.5, you will be getting 7.5 percentage. So, total 17.5 is the cost of equity according to the given information. Okay. Now, we are going to find out the new or revised cost of equity according to two different scenario. Okay. See the problem. So, we have calculated cost of equity according to the given information. Okay. Now, they are asking you to find out the what would be the cost of equity if the coefficient that is the beta value is raised from 1.5 to 2. What will be the cost of equity? And second scenario is uh, if the beta value is uh, falls to 1 from 1.5 to 1, what will be the cost of equity? Now, let's see the solution. See the calculation for the first scenario. Cost of equity is equal to, okay, RF. RF, same, 10 percentage plus beta value is 2. No, the revised value is 2 into RM, 15 percentage minus RF, 10 percentage. 10 percentage plus 15 minus 10, 5. 5 into 2, 10 percentage. So, total 20 percentage. So, this is the new cost of equity if the beta value is raised to 2. Okay. And the second one is uh, if the beta value falls to 1, what will be the cost of equity? Okay. See the calculation. Cost of equity is equal to, okay, RF, 10 percentage, same. Plus beta value is 1 into RM, 15 percentage minus RF 10 percentage. So, 10 percentage plus 15 minus 10, you will be getting 5. 5 into 1, 5. 5 percentage. So, the answer is 15 percentage. So, according to the present scenario, the cost of equity is 17.5 percentage. If the beta value is raised to 2, the cost of equity is 20 percentage. If the beta value falls to 1, the cost of equity is 15 percentage. Okay. And this is the way to calculate cost of equity according to CAPM method. Okay. You can check the playlist link in the description box to get the more video collections. Hope you like this video. 
please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you